Local food business has had to adapt to meet the changes caused by the pandemic, like we've seen with so many businesses. Yes. Uh, this, yeah. this one has a, a pretty happy ending. This one is really cool. KBSI's Casey McKinnon is live in Kearney Mesa to check in with the Rolling Roots Vegan Food Truck. So now we get the food samples, Casey. There you go. <laughs> yes, now that it's a little lighter outside, <laughs> we're able to see what he can make. And this looks absolutely amazing. And we were actually just talking with Avante Hartsfield. We'll get to his story in a minute. But if you're looking at this, I asked Avante, I said, hey, when I eat vegan food, sometimes I don't really know what exactly it is that I'm eating. So can you explain right. what this is? Because if I were to look at that, I would say, hey, that's some pulled pork, yeah. some veggies, well, that's, some cheese fries. Yeah, that's a Philly cheesesteak uh, loaded fries, actually. So uh, those peppers and onions on top. The meat is made out of uh, textured vegetable protein. So this is our first time using soy-based protein. Um, but it's just, it's kind of a science -y. you have to mix methyl cellulose inside of it and some other things to make it actually taste and feel like meat. Um, but it's really good. I use the homemade cheese sauce and then french fries. So pretty simple, but um, like the meat part is the most complex and science -y, So. <laughs> well, it looks great. I've already had a couple bites of the one you made to make sure it wasn't too spicy for us. Yeah. Um, and it is absolutely amazing. And I'm not even vegan, so yeah. <laughs> you do a really good job of making delicious food for everybody in the community. Um, but tell us a little bit about your story, because here at KUSI, we continue to check in with yeah. local businesses and owners like yourself. And when we first spoke to you, it was about a year, maybe a little over a year ago. Yeah. And you didn't really know if you were going to make it, but you found so much success. Yeah, yeah. So you guys were actually the first people to come out and uh, share my story, which was really amazing. But we definitely have been out um, since the pandemic. Uh, it closed us down our first business, and then we had to pivot into the food truck. Uh, still chugging along. It was just me by myself. Um, making the food, prepping the food, taking the orders and going to get the food. So I was sleeping in the office here, <laughs> but um, we found uh, this location and we've uh, been growing since then. We've got a new uh, restaurant inside of Miralani Maker's District with Serpentine Cider and Lost Cause Mead. Um, we're opening up a new pizzeria coming soon. East Coast style pizza is going to be super dope. And there will be cheese. There will be cheese. Yeah, they'll be, they'll be regular. It's going to be vegetarian uh, and vegan, um, uh, but it's going to be super good. I'm going to make the vegan cheese really good as well. Uh, hopefully I can make it super good good that we don't have to use vegetarian cheese but um you know we're on the fence there <laughs> and through all of this you always continue to talk about how much the community has came out and really supported you yeah definitely the community came out and support we, we put out that i needed support and people came up and you know we're here still today uh even though so many businesses have closed down even within this last year uh, let alone the last couple of years of the pandemic so we're super thankful that the community has continued to come out and support us and we're here only because of that and you continue to give back to the community as well. Talk about what you do and why it's important that you do that. Yeah, so we go out and we uh, set up in downtown or other areas where there's a pretty good hom homeless population, our unhoused population, and we give free food and we give the same food um, that we're serving on our regular menu for the most part uh, with some new additions and things to make it more nutritious and healthy because our food is a lot of deep fried items. So <laughs> we want to give it a good balance. But it's important to me because I was in that situation myself. Um, I know what it's like to come from that and I'm just happy that I have the capacity to give back right now. So whatever I can give, I'm, I'm giving. Okay, and you're doing a lot of events. You have a lot of yes. events coming up. Yeah. My one question to you, though, is where can people find the events that you're going to be at? And if someone's having a house party, a private mm -hmm. party, can they book you? Yeah, people can book us online um, for the food truck. It's recommended to have like a you know like at least 50 people, but we uh, they can book us online. They can go to our website and submit a booking. They can follow our website, and we post on our Instagram our stories. We're going to start posting the. Um, uh, schedule as well on our website, but they can come follow us. They can inquire about an event. They can come try us out at one of the events and see where we're at. We're pretty booked all the time, so um, we're, we're posting about it and we're letting people know on our Instagram, and we'll be letting on the, letting them on the website. Avante Hartsfield, I love your success story. Thank you for always joining us on Good Morning San Diego. <laughs> Thank you. I'm always happy to be here. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Well, Jason and Lauren, with that, we'll go ahead and send things back to you. But the Rolling Roots Vegan Food Truck <laughs> is making ways through San Diego. A story. It's yeah, quite a success absolutely. story. It's awesome. Yeah, it's great to see through all that. And his enthusiasm comes out. Through. So now the new location is on Serpentine? Is that it's at Serpentine Cider, and the okay. pizzeria is soon to come in the downtown area, but we're not letting you know 
where that is. But we'll let you know opening day. Can I come oh, for opening yeah, day? Sure, come for opening All right. <laughs> Deal. Noted. Sounds All right. good. All right. Thanks, thanks Casey. Casey.